Hi, I'm Clark McChesney from Texas Central Region First Tech Challenge. Uh, I'm the lead first technical advisor and scorekeeper for our region. Wanted to share with you some t today some exciting uh, changes that are in place as a result of some upgrades made to our scoring system and also to the software development kit. Uh, related to inspections, uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using version 4.0.7, which is the current version of the scorekeeping system that's available uh, out on GitHub. Likewise, I'm using version 8 of the software development kit, which you can obtain from the First Tech Challenge uh, GitHub website or by using the Rev hardware client to download it to your devices. Um, what we're talking about today is an upgrade to the software system that allows uh, the inspector to actually use a QR code uh, that will populate a part of the uh, inspection checklist if you're using the tablets to do your inspection. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step so that you can kind of see exactly how this process works uh, and some of the benefits uh, of doing so. So what we have here for this demo is we have two uh, phones, um, the uh, driver station and the robot controller. Uh, this would work if you have a driver hub and a control hub, a phone and a control hub. Uh, it really doesn't matter. But what I do want you to notice is that I don't have my, my uh, robot controller phone connected to any devices at this point. That's going to be important based on the result we're going to get here in a few minutes. And likewise, I don't have any uh, game pads connected to my driver station uh, at this point either. Uh, and again, what you'll see is that when we do our automated uh, download using the QR code, that it will show that those things are not connected. Okay, so the first step in this process is to tap on our self-inspect. And we do that by tapping the three dots in the upper right-hand corner and then open to the self-inspect page. Now, if you tap on driver station, you're going to see that the driver station information is exactly as it has been in the past. Uh, and you can see again that I've got all check marks here uh, for uh, green for that particular area. But what has been added new now is over in the robot controller area, there is at the bottom of the screen now a QR code that appears on the screen. And this in conjunction with the uh, inspector's tablet will allow the system to automatically provide uh, a, a, a rundown of all of the status of both the robot controller or control hub and driver station or driver hub uh, with regard to what their, uh, their, their uh, status is for the inspection portion of the event. So once we have our QR code displayed, one of the tips that's in the instructions is to turn the device to portrait mode so that you get a bigger version of the QR code. Now one of the things that we've determined is that this can be done by hand by holding the tablet above the QR code and trying to take a picture, but we've discovered that if you just use a box or something to put your inspector tablet on that creates a defined height, then the ability to get a good clean picture of the QR code uh, actually happens a little bit easier. So that's what we've got here, just a simple cardboard box. We've got our tablet on top, and my, my assistant now is going to go ahead and start the inspection for Team 3708, uh, which is the team that I've chosen to use. Now you'll notice that again, right here is the QR code. So we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code. It turns our camera on. You may have to activate the camera the very first time. Uh, we've determined that again, putting this in the center just yields a better result. So now we're gonna go ahead and take the photo. And in this particular case, we're gonna check this check mark down here at the bottom. Operating systems may vary. And now you'll notice that it says scanning. And then the result is that it finds that 16 checks have passed. Now we're gonna go ahead and tap the okay button here. And we're gonna look down and you'll notice that it has the two two phones defined, it's picked up that they're Moto G5 Pluses, and then down here in the driver station robot controller software rules area, it has put the check marks for everything that it can define. 
Remember, we talked about the fact that we have no game controllers connected and we also do not have the uh, expansion hubs connected to our robot controller. And so as a result, you'll notice that it doesn't have the firmware information highlighted. And likewise, up here, there's no information about the game pads in, in the uh, defined in this part. Now, just in the event that your field inspector uh, accidentally taps on the wrong team as a part of this, um, we're gonna go ahead and do this again with this particular one. We're gonna scan the QR code and again, we're going to get it centered up in our screen so that we got a good clean photo. We're going to go ahead and take the picture and we're going to tell it that picture is okay. And it's coming up with scanning again. And you'll notice that it says right here, incorrect team. Uh, the QR data is for a different team for, in this case, 3708. So that's a great feature that's built in that you don't get the wrong information put into the wrong team's uh, inspection sheet. So we've switched tablets here for two reasons. One, we're just going to show you another way to do QR scanning. Uh, and we're also going to show you what happens depending on the version of the software that's on your tablet. You may get a different uh, screen once you've taken that QR picture. So we're going to notice that it shows that, the, that this one is in progress. But we're going to show you an alternate way to do this. If you have the resources uh, where you have an extra tablet and an extra person, you want to set up a station that simply does all of the robot controller and uh, or control hub and driver station or driver hub inspections before they go to the field where the rest of the inspection would be completed. You can do this alternate QR code scanning. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to then have this one station set up where you've again got your box or whatever. Uh, the teams bring by their driver station or driver hub and they get their inspection done. Again, this probably would be resource dependent and probably at a larger event. But if we go here to scan the QR code, you'll notice again that it's there. We've got a good picture. Now, in this particular case, the OK button is not at the bottom like the other, and it wasn't a check mark. It's actually an OK button. So we're going to tap the OK. It's going to report, again, the same thing, that 16 checks were passed, there are no game pads, and it does not, it's not able to access the uh, expansion hubs to provide an uh, update on what the firmware version is. So you get the same result this way. It just allows you to have a single station set up um, to, uh, to be able to do multiple teams uh, of just simply doing the, uh, the, the hardware piece of this as opposed to the driving piece that you might do out on the field. Finally, one of the things that you want to look at here is that uh, even though this has populated the technical side of the inspection, you still have the robot uh, controller driver station uh, hardware rules that need to be addressed and down here, a few other items that need to be addressed as well. So the software rules that can't be determined from the self-inspect. Uh, and then finally, how the robot performs on the field uh, with regard to being able to stop the robot, uh, not move in a stop uh, condition. And, and then finally, the things that we always tell our teams as they're preparing to go to queue about uh, not being able to do software changes, et cetera. A quick summary. Uh, one of the things that's important is that you hold the tablet steady, uh, that you get a good, clean uh, picture of the QR code. Uh, otherwise, you're going to run into some failure issues with it. Uh, but uh, for the most part, once you get a little bit of practice with it, it's pretty successful. It's a great tool. It keeps you from having to dig into some of the technical stuff uh, as a field inspector, uh, unless that's something you really want to do and should help speed the, the inspection process up as a part of uh, your morning inspection, getting ready to go into a robot competition. Hope this has been helpful and I hope to see you at a competition soon.